Hey you guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is JP and if you're returning, welcome back. In today's video, I have something super special that I wanted to share with you guys. I just recently went shopping with Marc Jacobs and I wanted to show you guys what I decided to pick up. So with me here, I have my trusty knife so that we can get to the goods, you guys. So I went ahead and opened up to both of the boxes that I got uh, from Marc Jacobs. And this is how the first one came packaged. It's pretty discreet on the outside. I'm not gonna flip it all the way over because it does have my address. This is what it looks like on the inside. And as I'm sure you can tell already, I did pick up a bag. So first things first, this is my receipt. It has Marc Jacobs on the front and just has the website and Marc Jacobs on the back. Um, I do wanna say, that this is my first Marc Jacobs bag. Um, I do have other designer bags. I have a Gucci bag. Um, I have um, Kate Spade. Actually, Kate Spade is my favorite designer. Um, I don't know if people would consider her luxury or designer because of her affordable prices, but I love her bags. I love the structure of Kate Spade bags. So I have a lot of them. I also have some Michael Kors bags and whatnot, but this one is my first Marc Jacobs bag. So I'm really, really excited. At first glance, the packaging on this is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting a little bit more pizzazz on the inside of the box, but it is what it is. So I'm going to take the bag out of the plastic. I did get the all leather um, beef coat bag from Marc Jacobs. So this is what it looks like. This is the size small. Here's what the back looks like, the side profile. This bag does retail for $450. Um, at first touch, you guys, the leather feels incredible on this bag. It is super, super soft, very, very buttery. Um, I can tell just by touching it and feeling it that this was a very well-crafted bag. I am just taking a quick look at the stitching. A couple of the reviews that I saw on this bag did note that the stitching was a little bit off. And some people, when they got the bags, the stitching was a little bit frayed. But so far, my bag looks to be in really, really good condition, you guys. Unfortunately, this bag does not have feet on it. Um, I would have preferred that it did um, just for that extra level of safety or rather protection of the bag when you're setting it down. On the back, it does say the Marc Jacobs style tote bag location, New York City, year 1984. So I'll give you a little close up on that. And even when I do the close up on that, you guys, you can see all of the pebbles in the leather um, how shiny it is. It really is good quality bag. And then, like I said, on the front, it just says the tote bag and then Marc Jacobs at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the handle. Um, little protection that they have on here. I'm really excited, you guys. I ordered this last week, um, at the top of last week, and it came in within... Mm, a few days it didn't take long at all and since then I've been so thirsty to open up this bag but I said to myself nope I'm going to do an unboxing on my channel of this bag and the accessories and other items that I got so again really really cute bag oh let me take this one off too because I promise I'm going to wear this bag today <laughs> so on the inside, there is a zipper for privacy. I do enjoy and like that because I have a lot of crap that I keep in my bag and I don't need everybody up in my business, okay? So I did see on the reviews, just moving some additional plastic. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. I did see on the review that if you stick this little part, the excess zipper down in here, that it'll just kind of stay and it's kept by a magnet. So I appreciate that, although mine is not staying just yet. Okay, there it is. As you can see, so, so freaking cute. The bag on the inside does not have a lot of compartments. 
Um, here is the duster bag that it came with. Here it is, really cute. You guys know I am really fond of black and white. So hello to that. I'm going to take out the stuffing so that I can show you guys what the inside looks like. Where's my knife? So that I can take this off. Okay. So here is what the inside looks like. A lot of space. I can definitely fit my laptop as well as my other you um as well as my other not utensils guys but essentials in my bag um i also did purchase a organizer that i'm super excited to share with you guys again i saw a lot of reviews on this bag and so i knew instantly that i would need something to kind of compartmentalize all of the items that i usually keep in my purse so that they're not intermingling and flailing around as i'm carrying this purse to and fro this bag does also have a pocket that is not made in leather however it is trimmed in leather and you can stick i don't know maybe like a lip gloss a small cell phone in these pockets that's what it looks like and it just has mark jacobs on the leather patch there and then full grain leather is what it says on this little tag here so that's a really cute detail and touch um and on the inside, on this side, you guys, it's like a plasticky kind of feel material, which I'm not mad about because I feel like it's it would easily clean if something were to spill. Although with this flap being here, I'm trying to show you guys. With this flap being right here, I mean, if something did spill, it would definitely stain this. But if you lift this part up, on the inside, on this side, it has like the same kind of plasticky feel material um, that is on this side as well. So I don't know. I mean, it's not really a big deal to me. I still absolutely love this bag and I'm going to have a bag organizer that I'm gonna link down below if you're interested in um, that I'm gonna have in this bag. So hopefully if there are any spills, they will take place inside of that organizer and I won't ever have to worry about my bag being destroyed on the inside. But without any stuffing, this is how the bag looks and how it is shaped. I am very, very happy with this purchase. Um, it's not cheap. Again, $458 may be cheap to some, but it's definitely not cheap to me. Um, but I do feel like I, get a, I got a good quality bag for the price. I'm going to quickly unbox this um, strap so that I can attach it so you guys can see what the strap looks like on the bag. I'm probably going to switch the strap out for um, some of the, um, for one or two of the uh, Marc Jacobs thicker straps that I've seen. They have some really cute ones that I think I want to get for this bag because honestly, this small thin one just isn't doing it for me. And I wanna add a customized touch to my bag and select um, a different type of handle, I'm sorry, strap. So this is what the strap looks like on. Again, I'm probably not going to keep this on, you guys. This is just for the sake of the video. I am going to replace it with another Marc Jacobs strap. And when I do, I'll definitely update you guys on what that looks like. But overall, really, really cute, really excited. Um, again, this is the small tote bag. So you guys already know that the medium and the large are going to be huge. Those sizes didn't really suit my lifestyle. This is actually perfect for me. And as of now, it's the largest bag that I own. I used to be a large bag girl. And then I decided um, that I wanted to go smaller. So I sold all of my larger bags for smaller bags. And now I'm getting back into the medium, small to medium size tote bag. So this is the perfect start to that collection in addition to the bag I also purchased a wallet so I'm super excited about this and I'm sure by now if you are not new here you already know what color this wallet is 
yes it's black and white <laughs> this is the front of the wallet you guys it just says mark jacobs um the leather feels really really good the stitching looks good on both sides of this wallet this wallet retails for 185 dollars but i did get it on sale for 111 dollars this is what the inside looks like it's just a slim billfold wallet there are a few compartments on the top for credit cards as well as on the bottom please don't mind my nails and there's also a compartment for cash or other things that you may want to store in the wallet and then on the back there is a coin slot for change or anything else you may want to put in there that will actually fit because I never use mine for change. I always use it for other things. So if you are that girl, sis, this room, uh, this wallet has plenty of room in the coin change for you. Again, here is the tag. As you can see, again, it retails for $185. And I'm just going to stick that in my bag. And lastly, I did pick up some Marc Jacob jogger sneakers. I'm really excited about this. In the previous vlog you guys saw when we were out of town, I was on the hunt for tennis shoes and I did not find any. So when I was on the website for Marc Jacobs purchasing the bag, I did check out their shoes and thought that these were really cute. Mind you, I thought they were cute online. I have not opened them just yet, so I'm hoping they are equally as cute and fit like I expect them to. So when you first open the box, basic, just like you would buy any Nikes, any Jordans, they're just wrapped up in this white papering. And here is the shoe, you guys. At first glance, it's really, really cute. It looks like it's gonna be kind of too big. We'll see, I'm gonna, we'll see, I'll try them on. But all of their shoes come with this Marc Jacob the Jogger little keychain, so I think that that's a cute little touch. On the back, it has 38 and the Jogger Marc Jacob. 38 is the size that I wear um, in these shoes or that I'm hoping that I wear in these shoes. Um, I typically wear a six and a half in kids or a seven and a half in women's. So I, based on the reviews, um, in videos that I saw on these shoes, I decided to go with the 38. So mm, we're gonna hope that it works, sis. If it doesn't, I still think that these, I still think that these are cute enough to um, exchange for my correct shoe size. These shoes kind of give me old school Reebok vibes, like in the 90s. Um, so that's kind of what attracted me to them. And then here is just the other shoe. Again, pretty much the same. As you can see, I don't think I, I mentioned it, but that is the Marc Jacobs logo. So the logo is on the outside of the shoe, which I think is really cute. Really no need to put anything on the inside when you're walking, nobody's gonna see that, but it's placed perfectly on the outside and is very eye-catching in my personal opinion. This is what the bottom of the shoe looks like. And it says the Jacobs, wait a minute, you guys. The Jogger, Mark Jacobs. I was like, hold on, that says the Jacobs, girl, get it together. But these are really, really cute. Um, it pairs perfectly, let me throw this down, with my bag and my wallet. I mean, come on, you guys, come on. So, so stinking cute. I can't wait to wear it. Please stay tuned to the end of this video so that you guys can see how I style the bag. I'm probably not gonna wear the shoes immediately, but I will show you um, in a future video what the shoes look like on. I got so excited, I almost forgot to show you guys what I picked up from Amazon. It is an accessory for my bag and it is a purse organizer. This is what it looks like on the outside. There are three compartments there so that you can slide something on the outside. There are no compartments on this side. However, it is full of compartments and I'm, I'm sure it's kind of hard to tell because it is black, but there are three slot compartments here. And there are also three here as well. And they're pretty deep.
For additional storage, this insert has Velcro at the bottom, which will keep the insert in the middle from sliding. So you just attach it like this and it's stuck. Well, not stuck, but it's in there pretty securely. And this will give you additional middle storage. Girl, look at that. That's cute, you guys. So now I'm going to stick the organizer inside of my bag. Okay, okay, okay. So there it is. Um, you can see, sorry about that. You can see that there is the three additional compartments for storage um, and organization there in the middle that were not there before I added that additional insert. I'm going to stick my wallet in here to show you guys what it looks like and it stands up perfectly. And I think that's what drew me to this particular organizer. Um, and being that my bag is so big, I really like the idea of being able to stand up my items, especially like items like sanitizer and lotion and perfume. Um, oftentimes those are the items that spill in your bag and ultimately ruin them depending on the uh, material of the bag. So I can still stand up my wallet and still zip my bag up and not have to worry about crushing anything or squishing anything. It all kind of fits perfectly in my bag and I can still zip it up for that additional security, again, so that everybody is not in my business. So I really, really love this purse organizer, you guys, and I can't wait to um, film a separate video showing you what all I can store in this um organizer because I mean I can get a lot in here I'm probably gonna start carrying crap in my bag since that I've never carried before but simply because I have space it's gonna be up in there I do appreciate you guys for hanging out with me today and checking out my new Marc Jacobs bag, wallet, and tennis shoes. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Like this video for more content. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already and the post notification bell so you never miss another one of my uploads. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Bye. Hey you guys, it's been a couple of days since I filmed the first portion of this video and the thicker strap that I ordered from Marc Jacobs has come in. I have put it on my purse and I am even more obsessed with my bag. So I wanted to show you guys what the thicker strap looks like. So here is my bag with the new strap included and it is so freaking cute. Oh, y'all. I absolutely love this bag and will likely get it in other colors. I love the um, extra flair that the strap gives to the bag. I mean, it just looks so classy, so elegant, so timeless. You can dress it up and dress it down. I want to give you a close up on this strap. Uh, it does have the leather detailing on both sides of the strap. On this side, it has the Marc Jacobs. 
and on this side it is blank of course as you can see the hardware on the strap is gold just like the detailing on the purse is gold and then the strap it feels like some sort of a canvas material and then it says the mark jacobs in white lettering of course with the gold hardware there you can see in the middle and here on the side. I just think this is a amazing addition to my bag. I did wear this bag for a couple of days after filming the first portion of the video and I got so many compliments, you guys. And honestly, I wasn't expecting it. I didn't even think people were really onto Marc Jacobs like that, but apparently this particular bag, the tote bag, is something to look out for i did want to share a little bit of information about the strap just in the event you were interested in getting one yourself so i do have the envelope with my packing slip inside that came with the strap and the strap that i have on my purse is the mj graphic webbing strap it is on their website for $85. After I paid for shipping, it came up to $90.74. And I know, sis, you may be thinking, geez, almost $100 for a strap. Girl, calm down. Listen, if you have it, I highly, 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 highly suggest that you get the strap for this bag. It honestly elevates the look of this bag so, 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 so much. I mean, here is a comparison. I do have my strap here that came with the bag. So if you do a side by side, I mean, come on guys, come on. It really is no comparison. It's no comparison. Not to mention, if you are a bag lady, and you carry 50, 11 things in your bag. If you carry heavy things in your bag, laptops in your bag, tablets in your bag, whatever in your bag, you want a thick strap like this that's not going to dig into your shoulder. I haven't even put everything that I typically have in my purse over the last few days that I've been wearing this purse. And I have tried to use the shoulder um, strap to try it out to see how it feels and honestly guys it was digging it was digging into my shoulder that's a no-no for me okay i don't know about you i'm not judging you but that's a no-no for me and i just feel like with this thicker strap i'm going to get a more comfortable wear out of my bag on those days that i decide to use the shoulder strap especially when i have heavier items in my bag so that's pretty much it you guys i'm going to give you another 360 view of the bag with my new strap and again i am so obsessed with this like i can't stop looking at it the bag is excellent quality the strap is excellent quality and i definitely will be buying more of these tote bags and i think i will probably um explore the minis and definitely get another small. Um, if you're unfamiliar, these bags do come in three sizes. Again, the mini, the small, which is what I currently have, as well as the large. I probably will never venture into the large because I'm just not that girl. I'm a small woman. I'm 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, I really don't have no business with a bag bigger than this. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even gonna hold you. This is my max, sis. But I'm definitely going to be getting more of these bags because I absolutely love them. And I will be investing in the straps that kind of give it a little extra, mm, if you know what I mean.